And today in Monterey Park, California, President Biden signs a new executive order aimed at reducing gun violence by increasing the number of background checks. The order comes after a January shooting in Monterey Park killed 11 people and injured nine others. ABC's Ike Ajachi has more on this. Ike, what's in this executive order? What is the president aiming to do here? Well, Diane, the Biden administration hopes this new executive order will first increase the number of background checks given before firearm sales. Now, recent polling shows a large majority of Americans support universal background checks, and a senior administration official say the new directive, it's aimed at bringing gun sellers who are willfully selling guns without background checks into compliance. But it'll also clarify the language to alert sellers who may not realize that they, too, must run background checks. Now, President Biden will call on his cabinet to encourage the safe storage of firearms. Biden plans to expend federal campaigns promoting red flag laws by partnering with law enforcement, health care providers, educators, and other community members. This order is also going to direct state and local agencies responsible for implementing his bipartisan Safer Communities Act to deliver a report within 60 days on progress on the law's implementation, Diane. Now, the order is aimed at moving the U.S. as close to universal background checks as possible without additional legislation. That's the language used. So how much can it accomplish? Well, Diane, this is true. There's only so much President Biden can do in terms of implementing gun safety reform outside of his bipartisan Safer Communities Act without the help of Congress. What the president cannot do and what he'll repeatedly ask Congress to do later today is banning assault weapons, banning high-capacity magazines, and eliminating immunity for gun manufacturers, manufacturers rather, who knowingly put weapons of war on the streets, Diane. Now, the president is also delivering, uh, delivering remarks in Monterey Park. What do you think we're going to hear from him, Mike? Well, Diane, President Biden has often played the role of consoler-in-chief. He's traveling to a community where just a couple of months ago, a gunman claimed the lives of 11 people, injured nine others, and emotionally disrupted the lives of thousands. Expect the president to take a moment to grieve with the community, as well as similar communities across the country. But the president will also try to offer a solution to what these communities experience after such tragic events. Biden's going to order his cabinet to develop a proposal for how the federal government should respond to communities impacted by gun violence. Uh, an administration official told us how FEMA coordinates federal, state, local, and nonprofit organizations in order to assist communities after natural disasters like hurricanes and tornadoes, President Biden wants to develop a similar system to respond to communities following mass shootings, Diane. All right, Ike Ajachi, we appreciate it. Thank you, Ike. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.